What up YouTube, it's your boy Savio, back at again with another reaction video. Today I'm going to be reacting to another League song that you guys have requested highly. And that song is Awaken featuring Valerie Broussard. I have no idea who that is. I know that Broussard is a French last name, so for all I know she could be singing in French or she could just be an American of French descent. We'll see. Um, I have yet to be let down by a League video. They've all been super entertaining. Most of the songs have been great. And this video has a thumbnail with like some barbarian looking chick with some face paint on it. So hopefully it's another battle one because those are awesome. And uh, we'll see what cool powers and whatever she has. For the people who have not seen any of my League reactions, I do not play League. I get all of the information that I know about this from you guys and my friends who play League. So. I am definitely going to ask some questions that you're like, how could you not know that? Because I don't play League, that's how. So definitely make sure to educate me in the comment section down below and put any requests for any other reactions that you want me to do down there. Alrighty guys, let's get into it. So, so far, we have her, the singer, Valerie, who is singing in English, singing atop uh, piano chords with ambient noise thrown in to, you know, tie the pieces together, to be the glue in between her words and the chords played on the piano. And this section is very, very intimate. It's kind of... Like what I said in a previous reaction video where I talked about how if you strip away a lot of the music and add a lot of reverb to the person's voice, you get this almost conversational type feel to the song. And so far, that's what they're going for. I'm not sure where this is going to go, if it's going to to continue to be a deep introspective you know almost sad somber sounding song or if it's going to later turn into something big and exciting or whatever the case may be but so far they've chosen to have this almost feel like a a one-on-one -on -one conversation with you and the singer with chords playing in the background Yeah, already they, they brought in a, a drum section. It's like a drum roll, drum fill type section. And you can hear her gaining intensity in her singing, as well as like some synths in the background starting to pick up. So I can tell that this is it's probably going to lead to some big battle. I don't know if these are the different factions that would be battling. I know the Phantom of the Opera looking dude at the beginning had a bunch of dead bodies in his place, but I mean, this chick has like a whole village worth of people behind her. So if they go to war, I'm, I'm interested to see how this goes, but I can tell so far from the music and from the way that the video has been edited, that this is definitely leading towards something big. One, that was a big boy. That dude running through the through the army. That reminds me of the uh, scene from 300 where they have like the huge, huge, like giant dude that they have to fight that came through the Persians army. Super cool movie. Go watch that movie again. But as far as the, the song, so we got to a chorus section. I know this because she says Awaken like several times. And that is the name of the song. But I also know it because 
they started bringing extra elements. There was a, a violin section that came in, and it sounded like an electric violin, which, if you don't know what an electric violin is, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's the violin version of electric guitar, and they're super cool. I don't know, they have this, this crazy way of piercing through all of the sound that is happening, and it just... It's just there in your face. It's very forward, very sharp. I like it. I like how they're using it to add to the tension of what's happening. I mean, we went from people standing around looking at each other, walking through villages, to now there's a, a huge fight. The chick with the levitating knives is starting to stab people. So I, I like the way that they're pairing the growing intensity of the video with the growing intensity of the music behind it. Ouch. Okay, I don't know what happened to the, to the chick who got the sword thrown at her, but um, this chick got trucked. She got laid out. And again, perfect pairing of video with song, because as soon as that happened, the music cut out and you get almost this it's like the effect that happens when people get concussed in movies where an explosion will go off next to them and their ears are ringing and they're just like oh man and all the sound is like really muffled they did that with the song and again i don't know if these songs are made before the video or after the video but regardless whoever came second in that phase did a great job pairing the two of those things together to really give you the feeling that she is feeling while laying on the ground watching her army be attacked after she just got trucked. Do you even lift, bro? I'm just <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. So, so much happening. From from the standpoint of the song, it, it completely cut out at one point, and it started to build, started to build. We got the ambient noise that came back in first, and then we got this beastly solo uh, on the violin, and then she starts to come back in with the, the very, very in the background. They're panned off to the sides, which means you're hearing them on either side of you. Um, they're just faint faint awaken 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 from the singer and while all of this is happening every scene that we are seeing is gradually getting more and more tense it went from in this particular scene they're like oh we're just walking we're about to sneak up on this guy he's like psych you getting blown up you getting blown up you getting blown up and i gotta go for you with the um the chick who's in the uh, like Coliseum-esque gladiator tournament, clearly she dodges the sword because she's still alive. The guy, he's like, nope, my turn. He jumps off, and as he's jumping off, you just hear the violins come in, just building the tension, like, oh, snap. This, unlike the Giants video that I reacted to, isn't necessarily a music video. It's not the characters performing the song. But this is, it's so perfectly paired with the music that we're watching that it makes sense that they say that it's cinematic because it's just like a musical score for a movie where the music in every way is there to heighten your experience of what it is that you're seeing. And even without watching the video, you almost get a sense of the emotion of what's happening through what's being heard. Uh oh.
that was great. That was that was really great. The the way they brought all that back in with the huge huge drop as this character who I don't know the names of. Her allies came in. The yeah, the Konoichi, which is a, a female ninja, if you don't know what that means, and the chick with the um, I don't know, telekinetic abilities, who created the force field around her to be saved from Big Chungus. Um, and all of that happened as Valerie came back in full force with the vocals, the violin came back in, those super, super powerful drums came back in. It's just, it's an exhilarating feeling. We came all the way from here. Now we're up here in energy and intensity. Hey, yeah, I know. I just paused it. I don't care. I know that guy. That's, uh, um, Yas Yasuo, I think is how you say it. He was in the um, Giants video that I reacted to, and he was the DJ. That's cool. I I know things. Uh, this is this is actually he might be in another video that I reacted to. He's not in the Jinx video. He's not in. Is he in the Warriors video? Yeah, I don't know. But I feel like this this is maybe the second, definitely the second, maybe the third time I've seen him. So I don't know if he's like a super popular character. He might be the most popular character for all I know. Is that a lightning kitty? Is that a lightning kitty? Because if that's a lightning kitty, then I need to play League because that's dope. That is dope. Bruh, okay, another one. Like these these freeze frames are amazing. First off, the, the guy bowing. Oh that dude is a b who does that? He's first off, he's setting off all these massive purple explosions in the middle of a fight as your main enemy is coming towards you. He just takes a bow because he's like, I know I got you, bro. It's over. And then right here, I could totally see this being a poster on one of your guys' walls. I don't know who this guy is with the spinning swords. His weapons are dope but this chick is not having none of it bro she is coming for his head that was a really really dope video i i enjoyed it a lot I feel like i talked a lot during that video but it was cool. There was a lot of like really memorable moments in that video that I feel like are gonna stick with me for a while. Like the Yasuo Samurai guy, the Wind Samurai wrecking everybody. The moment where you thought the chick with the levitating daggers was going to die and her ally showed up and had the, the force field around her. The moment where the, the Phantom of the Opera guy is setting off all those explosion -y traps and he just takes a bow. That was beautiful. The moment where the, the Emperor guy at the gladiator match threw the, the sword at her and just like jumped down with his like spinning General Grievous type swords. I don't know. I just thought that video was really cool. The song was good as well. I've noticed that there's a pattern here as far as the music goes. There are, I'd say about half of them that are just great songs and like on their own, they are fantastic. And there's like, oh, hey, there's a video to it and it's animated, cool. And then I'd say there's like the other half of them that the video goes seamlessly well with what is happening on the screen before us. I'd say like the Warriors video falls into that category where it's a good song, but it it's so, so much greater when paired with the video. And it really, it really communicates the emotion of what the characters are feeling in their individual scenes. Funny enough, they're also in a bunch of different like settings, having their own individual battles. From what I could tell, none of those characters were really connected in the same way that in the Warriors video, none of the, the different characters were really connected to each other. They were just, were just experiencing all of their different struggles that they were going through. And I thought that was pretty cool. So 
If you like this video, definitely make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any other videos that you'd like me to react to, leave it down in the comment section below. If you have anything that you would like to educate me on as far as league, anything that I said wrong, because I'm sure I did, or anything that triggered you, again, definitely make sure to leave it in the comment section down below. And we will see you guys next time. Peace.